Will you please pray with me? Dear Lord, among all the words that we hear, we pray now that we will hear your word. Help us to listen, help us to discern, help us to understand. We pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will be upon us in such a way that your word comes alive for us. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts. Chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. Listen to the word of the Lord. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now they were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard the sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard their own language being spoken. Utterly amazed, they asked, aren't all of these who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hears them in our native language? Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans, and Arabs. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongue. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongue. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own languages. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, what does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These people are not drunk, as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. This, my friends, is the word of God. Thanks be to God. 